the UK showed what it could do in the whole pandemic regards not just manufacturing but the uh, the registration of a vaccine faster than anywhere else and I think that the UK has got a real opportunity with the help of government policy which is coming uh, to really resurrect manufacturing and put it back in the place that it could be. The UK strengths in biomanufacturing are, are, the, are the process design elements, process development um, so how do you design a process to make a new biopharmaceutical or advanced therapy. That's the real strength. Um, it's very important to anchor in manufacture of those products as well. And we haven't been as good at that, but we've made great progress, I think, over the last 10 to 20 years in expanding facilities throughout the UK. There is momentum, there's certainly been momentum. We need to be very innovative, uh, so keep um, sort of investing in cutting edge technologies and looking at the next generation of products. Uh, I think we need to do that not alone, so very much uh, looking at collaborating uh, with other orga between organizations within the UK, but also globally. Um, and I suppose the other key thing is uh, we need to attract top talents. We know that the ecosystem has to succeed and we have to join up from Blue Sky's academic research all the way through to regulatory and to policy and to tax credits. That coming together in an ecosystem because we all know each other means we can be a really powerful voice for getting new innovative things done. The opportunity we have in the UK is to now to take a lead in manufacturing. So I think traditionally we've been brilliant at the R&D in terms of developing new entities, new drugs, new therapies. But unfortunately, a lot of the time we've not invested in the commercialization of those and they've ended up being offshored and gone to America or Ireland or Singapore or wherever. <laughs>